We're going to interpret this integral geometrically, which means we need to get a picture of what this integral represents. So let's see what this function is. I'm going to call it y, and I'm going to square both sides. And I'm going to take this term, and I'm going to add it to both sides of the equation. And what this represents is a circle with a radius of 5, but it's shifted to the right 5 units. Or in other words, its center is the point 5, 0. OK, so I'm going to do my best to draw this circle. It's centered at the point 5, 0 right here, and it has a radius of 5. You'll also notice that this function is always positive. It's a positive square root, so we're actually going to just have a semicircle here. And if you draw it with a radius of 5, it'll look something like this. Now you'll notice that we're integrating this function from 0 to 10. Those are the x values, 0 to 10. So we're integrating over this whole semicircle, so this integral just represents the area of this semicircle here. Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared. The area of a semicircle is 1 half pi r squared. All we need to do is plug in our radius of 5, and we're good to go. We get an answer of 25 pi over 2, or 25 halves pi, and that should do it.